All right, we're back. The new PLA is currently loading into the printer. The bed is preheating. So we come over here. The PLA is already hot, it has to be that way to get the, uh, to do a load or unload. And obviously I had to unload what was in there before. So we will wait to the mount here. It takes, takes a little bit. It's, it's not terribly fast at the advance rate. Um, I will sometimes pull this little lever over here, which I can you know, pull in and then just take the, the pinch wheel off and slam the stuff through faster. But hey, um, just give me a little bit of time to talk to you folks. The uh, bed, may, well, it may not look like it, has already been cleaned. Oh, look, we have, this we go, remains of whatever was in there, the old stuff. A little bit of the new. And this new stuff doesn't like it to be as hot, so I'm going to bring it down just a little. Feed a tiny bit more in just to get a nice, make sure we're nice, clear, pure red PLA coming out of here. What do we got here? Hey, where's the camera lens? <laughs> It's amateur hour, folks. We're professionals, but not at this. Uh, definitely not at this. You can definitely see the color change. That is enough, I think. Let's go. We are almost up to temp. So we have downloaded that little puppy off of the slicer onto an SD card. And beeping away. And we'll give it the instructions to print. And... In a few moments, once that 57 turns into a 60, uh, this little, this guy is going to be off to the races, or whatever the case may be. Come on, this is a thrilling, thrilling, thrilling stuff here. Great content, folks. I can tell this challenge is going to be off to a wonderful start. There it goes. Let me quickly beep. make a quick attempt at snatching away that little blob. It'll do a purge line first, uh, and then we'll be going. There you go. I'll just pluck that sucker off right away. It's set to work with what's called a skirt. So this gives it a chance to excrete some filament all the way around the perimeter of the area it's going to be printing. And if that stuff doesn't stick down or you have any kind of adhesion issues or something, that's a warning to just hit stop print right then. Uh, because if it can't get that skirt down, it's not going to print what's inside. Um, it's, it, you know, you need to, you may need to readjust something, re-level a bed, something may have gone wrong, who knows. I'm probably due for a bed level. Um, the first layers on these things is getting to be just a little bit thinner than uh, I originally had it set up for. So we may be about due for some maintenance uh, in terms of just some tightening, of adjusting of some belts, and then do a, a re-leveling of the bed. So we've got the base for one arm, and it looks like the main body. I wonder if we can give you a little bit better view of this. Can't do that. Yeah. Well, if only I had a tripod. Well, I have a tripod. I just need to print myself a uh, mount for an iPad to be able to hold it in the tripod. And I'm sure, I'm absolutely sure if I go look, I'll be able to find it. Maybe that'll be the next project after this. Uh, in fact, just pull out some nice black PLA plus some nice stuff that's pretty tough uh made a lightsaber out of uh, a lot of that stuff it was really nice but, <laughs> look, look over here workbench area you can remember chaos uh, look at that lightsaber handles uh, <laughs> that was so anticlimactic because i didn't even have that close to the right place when I did that, there we go, yeah. 
Yes, tripod. Going to be important. Going to be very important. Anyway, this stuff worked out real nice for this. Uh, so I'm sure that would make a nice, a nice mount. But we're here to see isn't past projects. It's this little puppy. Yeah, I played with this thing incessantly. What do you think? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. You know it. <laughs> All right. Well, we start. To, we'll come back here in a few more layers uh, when things get a little bit more interesting, perhaps. Although there's a lot of tight detail on this, so it may not be doing a lot of infill. Um, might just be a lot of outline work. It's going to be interesting to see what comes out of this little guy. It's the first time I've done a print in place. Uh, it is sort of a test for how well your printer is calibrated and all your settings are done. Uh, and also how good the filament is that you're using, because if the filament tends to string or pop or beat up or something, you it makes it really hard to do these. Yeah, everything, all your tolerances have to be just right. So this is gonna be a fun little test of the printer uh, and everything to see how well I've got it set up. Um, it's, it's a little bit of a challenge sometimes to print these, but very satisfying when it works.